Alright, this time we're gonna have a mountain. A man and a mountain. Good morning, greetings, saints. We thank you, praise the Lord, for being back into the house of prayer once more again. I just thank you, praise the Lord, for his love and his mercy. We thank you, praise the Lord, for his mighty keeping power. I just thank you, praise the Lord, for everything he is to us this morning. I just want to take the time out again to say um, thanks to uh, Brother McGriff coming down from Thomasville, Georgia. Let's give him a, a praise. I do want to thank and praise the Lord again for wonderful um, praise and worship service. Thank and praise the Lord for everything the Lord is still right now. do want to thank and praise the Lord for the Lord yet keeping us um, through the um, COVID-19. Thank and praise the Lord. Something new, something different for all of us. So we thank and praise the Lord for God is the keeper. God is the healer. God is yet keeping us. Thanks to God for continuing to say prayer for and encourage everyone in your home, your own surrounding. We thank and praise the Lord for just being an awesome God. Not just one God is not just one time, but God is good all of the time. And I do thank and praise the Lord for that this morning. Thank and praise the Lord for our pastor being here. Thanks to God that continues to pray for him. That the Lord will continue to bless him and all of the ministry of the brother Ricky. Thank God for uh, Mr. Brother Kevin and his accent. Pray for uh, them. Pray for Kimberly. She I know, was in a lot of pain on this morning. Pray for her that the Lord will continue to touch her body. And the many others that is watching us, that is um, taking time out to send us greetings from time after time. Pray for the church here at 4952 Old St. Augustine Road. We've been here close to 71 years. Thank you, praise the Lord, for the saints of old that went on already, that prepared the foundation of the building here. That we, saints of God, have a place to come and worship the Lord in spirit and truth. At this time, we will take time out to. Um, knowledge that we do have a May newsletter. If um, you did not receive one for April, please, um, please let me know. And I'll try to make sure you get a copy of the one for April. And at this time, I'm going to ask um, Sister Erica, the chief of um, the knowledge the ones with birthdays and anniversary for this uh, week. Yes, um, for the month of May, we thank God for Brother Eugene. He had a birthday on this past Saturday on May the 2nd, on May the 4th which is Monday, Kevin Pierce Jr. birthday. And then we have an anniversary coming up on Thursday, May the 7th, Bernie and Sabrina's anniversary. So wish them well on their anniversary. On May the 9th, Sienna Jones has a birthday. So those are the next two weeks of birthdays and anniversaries that's coming up. And May the 10th is Mother's Day. At this time, um, we do thank the Lord for Sister Erica for that. Um, at this time, I'm going to ask Sister Leah if she'll come up and read. Um, we're going to just read some of our newsletter. We're not going to read it all, but asking all to take this as a sincerity. We want our youth and young adults to please contribute something once a month by the 28th um, in the newsletter with you. Um, 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 try to contribute something to our newsletter. All right, so Sister Sherry is the one that is um, heading up this year. Um, so far, so we're working on her. Thank God for Sister Jewel Jackson. Um, she contributed something this month and last month. So, as Sister Leah, would she please read that from um, Sister Jewel? From the heart of Sister Jewel. Greetings, saints. During our absent in these troubled two times, I pray all is holding on to their confidence in the Lord. I would like to share a morning thought that came to me early Tuesday morning, which gave me a boost of determination. As I freshly woke up at the dawn of daybreak, the thought of heaven just fell on me, and I could hear the words, eyes have not seen in my mind. I reached over, turned on my lamp, turned my lamp on, and grabbed my phone to find where it was written and I read it. A heavenly journey in my mind started just for reading it. No eyes have seen, regardless of how people tell out of it, tell of their out of body experience and tell them of what they saw in heaven. Could that just be a metaphor? and experienced for some glorious reason, no eyes heard it, but yet no ears heard it, but yet we hear a lot about heaven. Saints, I begin to realize the real reality never entered into anyone's heart. My goodness, how that blessed me to read that. Can you imagine that 
as much as we think of heaven, talk on it, wish for it, and most of all, hope for it. But we never come to close come close to knowing of the things that prepare for us, other than what's already told to us. My heart wandered with joy. I asked myself, what things? That mysterious place. As my mind journeyed on the thoughts of heaven, there's some great things await us. More than our earthly imagination gives us. Yeah. Our flesh, our fleshy being cannot tolerate the power of knowing God's secrets of heaven. Hallelujah. It made me that more determined to get there. I hope I can encourage you just as this did me by saying, Saints, heaven is worth it all and far more. Let's go where we can leave our imagination behind and actually experience it all. Yeah. Much peace and love be with you and unto you all. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, and Isaiah 64. Let's give Sister Dua a hand clap for such a beautiful writing from the heart. Young yes. people, yes. please take it from what you got in you. Yes. There's a lot going on at this time while you're home after you finish your school work, college work. I think college is open for, uh, I know my son Joshua, thank God for him. And, um, and Sister Leah, if Josh and Leah can share what about the ending of y'all this year, right? This year, yeah. Uh, especially here last semester. Um, it's been pretty difficult, but you know, you just have to have a lot of self determination and just stay focused on whatever you set your goal out to do. And I thank God for bringing me through and I thank God for passing my last test and moving on to my senior year. So we always keep moving forward. Yeah. Uh, Sister Leah. Whatever we need to do down south, as well as Tallahassee, Gainesville. 
you can, um, like I say, continue to update us by the way of email, churchoffice850 at gmail.com. Remember our radio broadcast every Sunday afternoon from STT from 3 to 4 on the 7.30 a.m. dial. If any other announcement or anything needs to be clear, please send me after church. Service back in hand of Brother Ricky.